Hello, hello, and welcome, everybody. JB's RC's here. If it's your first time here, we're doing some running videos. Got quite the little collection out today. It's out with Ian's RC's. Got the G-Made GOM. That's the Toyota HPI. Toyota FJ, the Venture. That's the uh, Marksman. There's a TF2. Got a couple 18th and 24 scales there. Uh, of course, the Viterra Suburban. Uh, always have a bunch of trucks when we go up here. You know, first one we're going to use is the G-Made Buffalo. If you uh, guys don't know already and have watched, haven't watched any of my videos, this is one of my favorite chassis. Uh, I did this as a kit build and it was my favorite uh, kit that I've ever built. Everything was separated extremely well. All of the pieces and parts were labeled great. The instructions were clear and I've also had no issues with this truck until today you'll see at the end something happens i actually break something um, and in fact what i broke which i thought would be an easy fix turned out not to be an easy fix just because of the way they're set up and i forgot um it had been so long since i built this kit and i've done so many others that i forgot that um the part that broke isn't just a normal part it actually is something that is sort of specific just to these i believe um it has to do with the axles and drive shafts so you guys i'll get a little more into that later on but as for now uh, like i said the kit the g-made buffalo the military version um, i do want to get a new body for this because i used the wrong paint on it and it is chipping off you guys will see in a couple shots i'm sure where it's chipping off i used the uh ts paint instead of the ps paint which is you know my fault i'm an yes. idiot uh-oh mark's been just tumbled <laughs> Uh, matter of fact, this video, uh, Ian, if you're watching this, this is actually the video where Ian drives that TCA Marksman off a 20-foot straight-down cliff. Um, first time he's ever broke that, and it really didn't break much. Maybe front bumper mounts and one link, one front link. Uh, and it was the plastic head on the link that broke. Uh, not the actual link itself, the middle link, just the plastic head on it, the eye, head, eye hook head. Tire so, dining. First time breaking that for him. Um, you hear me a little while in the background, I'm like, oh no, oh wow, first time. Uh, but I won't lie, the past two or three times he's had that truck out, he's been trying to break it. I've seen him really hammer that thing. So impressive that that's still holding together. As far as the uh, Buffalo here though, we got some new tires and wheels on it. I went and got some J Concepts Tusks. Um, definitely seem to be the go-to tire for a lot of people nowadays. And if you guys don't know already, J Concepts is my favorite rubber. I have a bunch of different landmines and ruptures and tusks. I got a set of the holds. Uh, just a great tire uh, rubber-wise for sure. Um, foams are decent as well, especially for a light to medium weight truck. Uh, if you got anything heavier, you're going to want to probably switch their foams out for a dual stage of some sort uh, or some anti-foams. Uh, other than that, truck's running a pretty simple uh, electronic setup in there. Oh yeah, I got the new 1.9 metal bead locks on here as well. They're different than the ones I had before with the deep dish wagon wheels. These are just uh, some 1.9 black metal bead locks um, and then the tusks. But the tusks, when I bought them, I didn't realize they're the smaller ones. These are the 4.19s. Um, so I do have some 4.75 tusks that I got uh, that I have on a different truck that we'll see a video of later on in the week, next week. Uh, yeah, but electronics wise, I got the Hubble Wing 1080 SC, I got the Home Hobbies Crawl Master Sport Motor, running 35 kg Metal Gear Amazon Servo, uh, Fly Sky RX TX 3S LiPo. Um, and that's it, nice and simple. It does have the two speed gearbox, and this thing does book in second gear. Um, and you'll see coming up shortly is where I break it. Um, I don't actually have the video where it broke, but I have the video after because I didn't realize it had broken. I had the video that I started to record after it broke, and it's just rear wheel drive. So basically, I broke the front drive shaft. But the problem with these is where the drive shaft connects to the axle, where the axle housing and the, the pumpkin or the, the center part of the axle is, um, the drive shaft actually mounts inside of the axle. It doesn't have the little pin screw on the outside to connect it. So that made it very difficult. Um, I actually just had to take it apart and put a new pin in because um, nothing actually snapped in there just the pin itself uh, broke a little metal pin <clears throat> with, with a screw head on it whatever screw pin whatever they're called um, so i just took it took it apart and, re and repaired it 
um, and it's back working again, but it's still the same drive shafts. Um, so these oh, ones are not that easy to change if you guys don't side. already know GD, that about the G-Made. Um, as far as the drive shafts go, you probably have to get an actual G-Made drive shaft. You can't just buy, you know, a, a metal drive shaft that has a certain length to it. Other than that, the truck is a performer. One of the main reasons I love this truck so much is how good it runs, and I have always run small tires on this, uh, 419s, which are some of the smallest 1.9 size tires you can get. Yep, right here, two-wheel drive only. I even switched to high gear to see if it helps having a little more wheel speed, but I'll tell you, without four-wheel drive, you don't go very many places with these trucks. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you didn't mind my rambling. Uh, get out there and have some fun. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.